In this quick tutorial, we're going to walk through how to use our snow effects library in Adobe Premiere. First, let's import snow into our project. We'll just head over here and right click and choose import. Then we'll select the entire snow folder. The effects are organized into two main categories each divided up into four different styles of movement, which makes it easy to locate the type of effect that'll match the shot you're working on. If you saw the snow trailer, you'll notice we used the effects across a wide range of shots, which helps tie them together and makes them feel like they all exist in the same world. Okay, so we've got this really cool car shot, and we're going to add some snow to make it feel a bit more cinematic. Let's open up the normal speed folder, since this is a normal speed shot, and we'll head into the ethereal folder and drag and drop ethereal number three onto our timeline. Then we'll go to the effect controls panel and set the blend mode to screen. Since this is a 4K clip on a 1080p timeline, we'll scale the effect down a bit. We'll also bring the opacity down, and we'll also duplicate the effect and slide the edit over so we can have a few more particles. Awesome. One thing to notice, because of the natural wispy movement of the snow particles, we didn't need to do a complex 3D camera track to get the snow to look good. You'll be surprised how realistic the snow can look, whether it's on shots that have a lot of camera movement or scenes that aren't very snowy to begin with. For this next shot, we want to add some darker colored snow without dropping the opacity. To do this, we're going to borrow a handy little technique that pro VFX artists use all the time, called a Luma Mat, and it's really easy to do in Premiere. Since this is a 60p shot, we're going to open up the slow motion folder and drag and drop weightless number one onto track three of our timeline, and we'll use a little section from the middle of the clip. Next, we'll click File, New, Color Mat. We'll choose a color from our shot. Maybe we'll make it a little darker. And we'll name it Snow Base. Next, we'll go to the project folder and drag the color mat onto track two of our timeline, directly underneath the snow effect. Then we'll go to the effects panel, find the track mat effect, and drag it onto the snow base clip that we just made. Then we'll choose video three which is the snow effect, and matte luma. Looking great. We'll maybe scale the effect up a bit, position it over here. Let's maybe grab the lumetri effect and use the curves adjustment to get the tone dialed in just a bit more. Perfect. 